Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and today I'm going to talk about how to create an aggregated table, um, a table that is grouped by one or more two fields aggregated by some other values in Power BI using DAX uh, summarize function. And let's see how it works. In the previous video, I talked about using group by DAX function to create a grouped result. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about summarize function. Let's say we have a customer table like this. Um, so this is my customer table. I have one row per customer, customer key column, and some other columns like gender, education. Now, to look at summarize function, uh, let's first see how the summarize function works. Summarize function gets the input uh, for, let's say, main inputs. Two of them are mandatory. One is the table that you want to do summarization on it. And this can be also a um, drive table. This can be a, calc uh, a table that is result of an expression itself. So it shouldn't be uh, always a data set table. It can be a virtual table as well. Uh, then the second one is a column or columns that you want to do grouping by. Uh, then name of the new columns you are creating and the expression for those columns. So very similar to group by function, but with some differences. Let's see what are the differences. Uh, if you want to use summarize just in a basic way, a normal way, this is how you can use summarize. You see that I have summarize. I said summarize the customer table. It's called team customer in my scenario. Uh, based on the English education. So this basically means that group the customer table by English education and the result would be unique list of English education. Uh, you get the same result uh, like this if you use distinct uh, function index or if you use values or same with group by of course. Now let's see some more examples of that. Um, if I want to add an aggregation, I can add aggregation like this. And here you can see that I also have two um, grouping columns. So here when I have two grouping columns, it's English education and gender. Now to add an aggregation, uh, I just name the column. So here is the column is called row count. And the expression for that is count of the customer key column in the customer table, right? So it can be any expression. You just need the column name and the expression. You can have multiple uh, aggregated columns and you can have multiple group by columns. So, so far, this is um, simple summarize calculation, very similar to the way that you use it in uh, group by. Now, summarize comes with some extra options as well. And one of them is roll up. Uh, Rollup is a function that you can use inside uh, Summarize in the place that you use column grouping columns. So instead of grouping column itself, you use it inside the Rollup. So instead of saying uh, gender here directly, I can say Rollup of that gender. Uh, what that Rollup means, that means that in addition to do that grouping, so one record per male, one record for female, it also creates a Rollup record or a total record uh, with a total value in it. That is what the rollup does. And you can use rollup with multiple uh, fields. So here is rollup with multiple fields. You see that in rollup I have uh, gender and education. Similar to the way that matrix roll up the values, matrix if you use, uh, this is the same scenario. So it has gender and English education. Then it first do the roll up on English education. Roll up of English education means that only having two rows for gender, one for male, one for female. And you see these two rows here, one for male, total of all education categories for male, total of all education categories for female. Then the roll up of gender, which would be total of all genders and of course all education categories, right? If you change the order of these two columns, you get different results, of course, because rollup goes through them one by one. Uh, so that's how rollup works. It will give you totals, subtotals, and things like that. You can have the same output if you use another function called rollup group. It's exactly the same uh, if I use rollup group instead of rollup. 
uh, you see that I get exactly the same result. So you can use either rollup or rollup group um, to achieve the same thing, to have totals and subtotals added to your tax expression. However, one uh, specific thing about rollup group is that if you use rollup group inside a rollup function, then you can avoid subtotals. Here is another example. Here you can see that I have a rollup group of gender and education, but then I use that inside a rollup. Rollup group inside the rollup. And that way it just show me the, the total, not any subtotals. The difference is that subtotals are removed when you use rollup group inside rollup. And uh, that is an important uh, way of using rollup group and rollup. Otherwise they are the same. Uh, one other advanced option when you use summarize is to use a function like is subtotal. Uh, let's say for some reason you want to see that the row that you are in right now, is that row a subtotal row or just a normal row, a normal grouped row? Uh, you can use a function like this, is subtotal. And is subtotal, you just specify which column you want to check, is it subtotal or of that or not, and it returns true or false. So here you can see that um, this specifically, for example, creates a column called gender subtotal, uh, which is false because I said is subtotal of gender. It is false for all of these, only for the final row, which there is no gender selection for that. This is subtotal of gender. This is true. Or the next one, which is checking subtotal of English education. This is true for the last three rows because there is no English education. This is subtotal of those. Or if I want to check the grand total, this is a way that I can check the grand total. I can say is subtotal of this and these two are and these two ampersands and is, total, is subtotal of gender. If both are true, that means this is the actual total. Uh, you can use these to, um, to customize your output. For example, you want to say you want to calculate percentage, percentage of uh, count of customers for each category compared to the total. You can use an expression like this. Um, here I have an expression that uh, calculate count of all customers and then returns the result. But in the result set, I calculate the percentage only if it is not subtotal. So I put that subtotal of this or that inside a not. That means if it is not. Um, if it is not, then I do the percentage calculation and here you can see that the percentage calculation works uh, for all of these except for the last three columns and you can of course make this column a percentage column uh, and things like that right but the main thing here is how the calculation works you can download all of these expressions uh, and file uh, uh, from my blog post linked down in the description below uh, this is how you can use summarize uh, a little bit more advanced version compared to group by to creating a grouped result aggregated result in DAX using Power BI. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.